A new coffee shop has opened in Brooklyn that will sell an $18 cup of coffee, which only makes sense to me if it's served with a side of 15 damn dollars. <laughs> An American woman set a new record by visiting every country in the world in 19 months. And after all that travel, she found the one thing that had been inside her all along. Zika. <laughs> Just had it. A Massachusetts couple whose son was born during the Super Bowl has named him Brady. While an Atlanta couple whose son was born during the Super Bowl has named him Son of a Bitch. <laughs> Valentine's Day is right around the corner. <laughs> Smooth transition. Here are some tips on how to make it a special night is a guy who just bought a boat. Hey! Just! Whoa! Yeah. Trey's days, bud. Just looking dap for my friend Trey's dap. Dap King. <laughs> Dap King Cole. Uh, I'm just kidding, man. Uh, don't take it personally. Everybody gets a little. Um, so, V Day, okay, let's get into it. First off, you got that res call? I'm sorry, a what? Short for reservation. Uh, <laughs> a lot of peeps are going to say on V Day, your girl's going to want to put some sushi in her boosh, but I beg to <laughs> death, all right? Uh, you're going to want to spring for a steak dinner, okay? Something with blood. Uh, anywhere with a fireplace, a coat check, and a lady made her D with ass for days. I have a small penis. Um, <laughs> once you've locked down that res, it's on to de fleur, okay? AKA, that's French for flowers. Uh, I'm talking long stemmers, boys. Nothing drops the slingshot like a dozen redheads. My penis is bad. <laughs> Pro tip. Pro tip for you dudes. Uh, send a dozen imports to her office. Each and every one of her co-workers is going to blow their Levi's. All right? I'm, I'm sorry, blow their Levi's? <laughs> totes McGoats. <laughs> and totes McBoats. Uh, listen, I can tell you've never done the old VD right. Uh, so tip numero trois. Uh, light a bunch of candles all over your APT. Chicks are like moths. They go crazy for flames. My junk sucks. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm sorry, at some point, were you going to talk about boats? Uh, I'm getting there, Lassie. Uh, you know, Collie? Colin? Colin Jost? It's a nickname, bro. All right, let's get this love train a scootin'. Uh, gotta teach my peeps how to land ho. Um, <laughs> I don't have long because I gotta be somewhere later. I won't say where it is, but it's not on land. Is it a boat? A lady never tells. Uh, I won't say, but let me just say this. I'm about to get naughty, Carl. <laughs> All right, last but not least. Uh, all these tips are wasted unless that arm candy is nice and sweet. If you're going to tie yourself down for Dos Catorce 20K teen, uh, you want to be sure she's a thoroughbred who's worth her salt cube. Me have a teeny weeny. No, I'm sorry, you, you have a what? what a boat, that? Colin! Guy who just bought a boat, everyone. I got a bad D, everybody! A Cheeto that looks like the Gorilla Harambe was sold on eBay for nearly $100,000. The buyer is actually a little like Harambe in that he also deserves to be shot. <laughs> Officials in England say that over $60 million worth of cocaine washed up on a beach. For reference, here's what $60 million worth of washed up cocaine looks like. <laughs> Thanks to the Fifty Shades of Grey films, many couples have been experimenting with bondage and S&M in the bedroom. Here to share their expertise is a couple who recently gave it a shot, Greg and Shelley Duncan. Thank you for having us. Now, was it difficult to take that first step into S&M? Well, if you're like me, you might feel a little shy at first. Yes. <laughs> so I recommend loosening up with a glass of wine or two. <laughs> Absolutely. And going off the theme of proper preparation, it's also important to figure out the extent to which your limbs can bend before they break. <laughs> and, honey, that goes for your penis as well. <laughs> Now, in the Fifty Shades of Grey movie, there's a lot of spanking. Is that something you guys tried? Oh, oh boy. 
boy. Yeah, I can take that one. Yes, we did. Uh, but just a heads up, as a couple, take the time to define what a spank is. Is it an open hand tap on the rear end or a closed fist punch to everywhere? Gregory! Well, keep some things private, baby. Baby? But my husband makes a good point. Know what your partner feels comfortable with. Mm. Like, are blindfolds okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is picking your partner up over your head and burning him on an overhead light cool? <laughs> Guilty. Are handcuffs a fair game? In my case, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, does being waterboarded with your own urine turn you on? <laughs> uh, in my case, no. So this just sounds painful. What did you enjoy about it? Well, we love getting creative and pretending to be other people, didn't we, baby? Uh-huh. Uh, I even had a little name for her. I called her Mistress Zanda. And what was that little name you had for me? Oh, Toilet Dog. Toilet Dog. <laughs> and I would say fun little things like, Eat your fear, little toilet dog. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> she should... Yes, you look shy. Uh, any, any final tips for our uh, so viewers cool. who might still be interested in SM? Go for it. A little pain can make a big difference. Mm, yeah. Also, know your blood type. <laughs> Tony Duncan, Shelly Duncan, everybody. For Weekend Update, I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jones. Good night.